this is Emma Friedman, and recently I was on an airplane to San Diego, and I wondered what was the first airplane and how was it invented. The plane I took looks very different than the Wright brothers' plane you see here. Here is a picture of Wilbur and Orville Wright. They are the ones who invented the airplane. They got interested in airplanes when they were kids, and their father gave them a toy helicopter. When they became adults, their first business was fixing and making bikes. This is a picture of Orville Wright working in the bike shop. It was a good thing they learned how to fix bikes because, in order to make an airplane that could carry passengers, they would have to solve many problems. The first problem was lift. Lift would let the plane stay in the air. The second was control, which lets the pilot steer. The third was power, which would fly the airplane. To solve the first problem, they started in 1900 by making kites to test different wing shapes. They used mathematical tables from a German scientist named Otto Lilienthal to make their first wings. Then they figured out that his tables were wrong, so they had to go all the way back to square one. In 1901, they built a wind tunnel to test many different shapes of wings, and then made their own tables. They did not know how to make the wings move to control the plane. Then one day in the bike shop, Wilbur was playing with a long cardboard box. He noticed the panels moved when he twisted it. The brothers took this idea and made several gliders in 1902 to test different controls. Recently, Ken Hyde and Rick Young decided to recreate the Wright brothers' plane. Here you can see pilot Jay Gratton flying a recreation of the 1902 glider. When pilot Jay moves her hips, it twists the wings like Wilbur's box twisted. This is the first engine ever to be flown. The Wright brothers had to make the whole thing by hand. They used their bike making skill to make the engine. It took a year to make the engine and the plane. On December 17, 1903, their first flight lasted for 12 seconds. They went 120 feet. It took Ken Hyde over 10 years to recreate the 1903 flyer. Doesn't it sound great? Wilbur and Orville had a lot of successes, but they also had a lot of failures. And many of the early pilots died in crashes. I don't think I would have done it. I would have been worried about crashing or doing all that work and having it ruined. People didn't believe it was possible, but the Wright brothers found a way. And every time we go on an airplane, we can remember how much the Wright brothers changed our world. They didn't know. No one taught them. They just tried it. They were inventors.